We're Ashley and Christian, and we started traveling together in March of 2017 and haven't stopped since. After visiting over 30 countries across four continents, we've become hooked on seeing, tasting, and trying new things. Being pushed out of our comfort zones while traveling has inspired us to set a crazy goal of visiting every country in the world. Good morning from another day in Sofia. We are starting our day at a coffee shop called Barista Cafe and more. We're here, number one, obviously, to get coffee, but also because they have a printer and we're flying Ryanair soon. If you are from the US, you are still required to print your boarding documents because you have to take it to the counter where they will then print your actual boarding pass there for you. So we're here because this place has a printer that we can use for free just for buying coffee. It was right down the street from our apartment. It worked out perfect. Our first stop of the day is the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral, which was only built in the 20th century, kind of early 1900s. So it was built to commemorate. It was built to com It was built to com <laughs> It was built to commemorate the Belarusian, Russian, Ukrainian, and Bulgarian soldiers who died in the Russo-Turkish War from the late 1800s. This is one of the biggest cathedrals in the world. It can hold over 10,000 people. This is probably one of the most, if not the most, iconic structures in Sofia. So we are gonna head inside here in a bit, but first, just gonna take in how it looks from the outside because it is beautiful. We paid 10 lev or six dollars to take photos and video. Um, the chandeliers are magnificently huge. The walls are so intricately painted. All the domes have their own themes. Uh, this is one you have to prioritize coming into. It is beautiful on the inside and it's open from 10 to 6 p.m. every day. Right down the street is this Russian Orthodox Church. It's from the early 1900s as well, like 1914 or something like that. Mm. They have these fresh juice places all over Europe. They literally cut the fruit in front of you, put it in a blender, and then give it to you and then put it in this little cup. The orange juice is by far the most common. You can find that pretty much anywhere, but this little juice place we just found has pretty much any fruit you can think of. So that's like our favorite thing. It was only what? It's only like a dollar or two for a whole thing of fresh squeezed juice. So make sure you try out the fresh juices here. Cause I don't, we don't, we don't find those as commonly where we're from in the US, but delicious. We are at the oldest building in all of Sofia. This is St. George's Rotunda, and it is from the fourth century. The roof is still intact from that time. They haven't had to rebuild any of it. The only thing that is newer in the church is the frescoes on the ceiling. They're dated from the 10th to the 14th century. We can't take any pictures or video inside. This is from the 300s and it's still standing. If you wanna come see this though, it is kind of hard to find. It's in the middle of a courtyard. There's two entrances, one from each side of the street.
This statue right here is of Serdica or Sofia. Serdica is one of the old names of the city back before it was renamed after the Ottomans had taken over. This statue is from the 2000s. It actually was put up to replace a statue of linen that they tore down. We are going to go into the History Museum here. It has a lot about Bulgaria's history, which we know a little bit about, but we definitely want to learn more stuff about like the Iron Curtain, the communism era, everything like that. The statue of Athena is from the third century. We just got done with the museum. It was more about the artifacts that they found around the city rather than the history of Sofia and Bulgaria itself. Still really cool. Definitely add it to your Sofia list. This was six lev for adults, two for students, and then we paid, I think, 15, so about $7, $8 to take photos and videos and stuff inside, so not bad. We have our mic off right now, so I thought this would be a good time to talk about how our mic muff cover has kind of broken and it won't stay on by itself anymore. So we got these little like bread ties. We had to tie our mic muff onto the mic. So this is what we're dealing with right now. It honestly works really well though. We are at our Bulgarian tavern. We are starting with a Shopska salad, which is a very traditional Bulgarian salad. It's tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce. But the most important part is this cheese on top. And it is called Serene, Cyrene. It's made with a bacteria that is only found in Bulgaria. That's what makes this salad so special, is the cheese. And the fact that it's white, red, and green, just like the Bulgarian flag. Mm. It's more of a tart cheese, like an age. It tastes aged, but it's but it's soft. It's really soft, but it tastes aged. It's very good, almost a little bitter. We also got some fresh bread and some zucchini, fried zucchini with looks like a tzatziki or some sort of like yogurt sauce. But this bread looks delicious. It's got some garlic and some spice to it from what I can smell. This is delicious. And for the fried zucchini, I was expecting it to be like kind of warm, but it's actually kind of cold. We got the Kabarna Sharna, a smart scarf. What is it? I can't say it. We got the Mashana Scarab, which comes with an assortment of meats. Looks like it comes with some hamburgers, some sausage, and some chicken, as well as fun little additives like some potatoes, a lemon, and tomato sauce. I'm gonna try the chicken first because it smelled delicious. I smelled the chicken before I smelled anything else. Nice, tender. That is amazing. This is a pork sausage meatball. A uh, supported meatball. Is that, is that a mushroom? No, it's not a mushroom. It looks like one. I don't know what this is. It's fried lamb liver. I knew he wouldn't try it if I told him what it was, so I'm gonna try it. I feel like I'm becoming more adventurous with food than you are. Okay, well we're gonna I'm gonna do it, try it next, okay? I don't think I've ever tried liver before, let alone of a lamb. It doesn't really have a different flavor, it just tastes like meat, like smoked meat. Just a little bit drier and way more fine. Like the texture is way finer. We're going to enjoy all of this and see how much of it we can eat. It is 1,000 grams. I don't think we can eat anymore. The true star of this dish is the chutney. It made any of the meat, the, the chutney and the cabbage, it made every single meat taste delicious. This is a really good option for two people. It was only $18, so like 34 lev or something like that. We got to eat our traditional Bulgarian meal, so I'm very happy about that.